Fox, written by Margaret Wilde and Ron Brooks. Getting knowledge ready. What do you think the text is about? What type of text do you think this is? Is it a narrative? Persuasive text? Informative text? What do you think it's going to be about? Can you think of another title to call the text? Where do you think the story is set? Is it set in the rainforest? The bush? Is it in Australia? What do you think? Does the fox seem friendly? Look closely at his eyes. Do they appear to be kind? Sinister? Secretive? Or lonely? How does the book make you feel? Do you want to read it? Is it engaging you, wanting you to look, making you want to look into it? To find out what does happen? To find out whether the fox is a good guy or a bad guy? Whether he is lonely or not? How does the book make you feel? How does the front cover make you feel? Through the charred forest, over hot ash, runs dog, with a bird clamped in his big, gentle mouth. What do the words charred and hot ash tell us about the forest that the dog is running through? What could have happened? What is the author telling us about the personality of the dog when she says, big, gentle mouth? Write your answers on the slide. Through charred forest, over hot ash, runs dog, with a bir bird clamped in his big, gentle mouth. He takes her to his cave above the river, and there he tries to tend her burnt wing. But Magpie does not want his help. I will never again be able to fly, she whispers. I know, says dog. He is silent for a moment, then he says, I am blind in one eye. But life is still good. And I is nothing, says Magpie. How would you feel if you couldn't run? Dog does not answer. Magpie drags her body into the shadow of the rocks until she feels herself melting into blackness. What has happened so far in the text? What happened to Magpie and why is Dog helping her? How does Magpie feel? Why does she feel that way? What does it mean by charred forest? How is the dog holding the bird in his mouth if his mouth is clamped? And what is the author describing when the bird when the magpie is melting into blackness? Record your answers and send them back to Mrs. Russell. Days, perhaps a week later, she wakes with a rush of grief. Dog is waiting. He persuades her to go with him to the riverbank. Hop on my back, he says. Look into the water and tell me what you see. Sighing, Magpie does as he asks. Reflected in the water are clouds and sky and trees, and something else. I see a strange new creature, she says. That is us, said Dog. Now hold on tight. To paraphrase is to put the text into your own words. In this activity, we're asking you to paraphrase what is happening on the page using your own words. You can record it, or you can just type it in. We're going to work out the meaning of unfamiliar words from this piece of text. When Magpie wakes, she wakes with a rush of grief. What does grief mean? Can it be used as a different word?
dog persuades her to go with him to the riverbank. What does persuade mean? Can you put it in a different word? Or say the sentence in a different way? When they go down to the water, it says reflected in the water are clouds and sky and trees and something else. What does the word reflected mean? What can magpie see? Can you give us your answer through a video or through text? Look at all the pictures of the fox from the story. What do these images tell you about the character of the fox? Look closely at his eyes, how he stands, the way he looks at the dog and the magpie. Brainstorm words to describe the fox. I've given you the first example. It looks like he has mean eyes. Add the rest of your ideas on the dot points provided. After reading, answer the following questions. How did reading this help you answer the question? Did you enjoy the text? What did the text tell you? How did the illustrator influence your opinion of the fox? What new words have you learnt? Was there a message in the text? Predict how Dog felt when he woke to find magpie and fox gone. Write a new ending with fox and magpie being reunited.